Prince William was infuriated after Kate dragged into feud claims with Meghan. Prince William was infuriated that Kate Middleton was dragged into the story of a feud within the royal family, with the focus on her and Meghan Markle, royal commentator Katie Nichol claimed in a documentary. William and Kate joined other members of the royal family this weekend to mark Remembrance Sunday. The couple, both 39, spent an evening at London's Royal Albert Hall for the Festival of Remembrance, a yearly musical tribute to Britain's fallen soldiers. Prince Charles and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, were in attendance, as well as a string of other members of the inner circle of the firm. The next day, William and Kate gathered in Whitehall to remember the UK's war dead at the Cenotaph. Kate appeared on a balcony of the Foreign and Commonwealth Office, standing in the Queen's place after the monarch was unable to attend due to a sprained back, according to a statement from Buckingham Palace. Also not in attendance were Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, who currently reside in California. It is unclear when or if the pair might return home, with Harry's last meeting with his family in July of this year. The pair endured a momentous fallout from the royal family after deciding to relinquish their royal duties and move to North America last year in what was quickly dubbed Megxit. While royal commentators have struggled to pinpoint a single event which forced the pair's hands, many have claimed that a series of episodes snowballed and led to the departure. One was the so-called feud that allegedly unfolded between Meghan and Kate, which was later rubbished. Much was said of the alleged feud, when the duchesses were pitted against each other, after a 2018 Telegraph report which claimed Meghan made Kate cry over flower girl dresses. Meghan famously went on to claim to Oprah Winfrey that the reverse had happened. A story later run by The Sun claimed the two got into an explosive row after Meghan was rude to a member of Kate's staff, to which the palace issued a rare denial. Many more stories that were often described as catfight narratives emerged. However, it later emerged that the real feud was between the brothers, not their wives. Speaking during Channel 5's documentary, William and Harry, Princes at War, earlier this year, Royal author Katie Nichol claimed that William was infuriated that Kate's name had been involved in the reports. She said, really, for Kate to be dragged into the story at that stage, infuriated William. He was very, very cross that Kate, who had up until then been very much peripheral in this fraternal rift, had been pulled in. She continued, there is never smoke without fire. How true these stories are, possibly you take some of them with a big pinch of salt. I certainly had been told by very reliable sources that the girls weren't the best of friends, weren't as close as perhaps they might have been. But actually the real issue wasn't between Meghan and Kate, it was between William and Harry. Shortly after, Emily Andrews, a royal journalist, added, suggestions that there had been some cat fight between Kate and Meghan, kind of clawing each other's eyes out, are ridiculous, frankly. And I think what happened was that William and Harry weren't getting on particularly well so then inevitably the two women kind of took their husband's side, as you would. Meanwhile, at the event at the Royal Albert Hall, Kate, along with the other women attendees, all wore black, while the men wore suits decorated in their military medals. This year's event was particularly special as it marked the centenary of the Royal British Legion. The festival reflected on the different ways the charity has supported the armed forces community. It also commemorated 100 years of the poppy as the symbol of remembrance.
wore suits decorated in their military medals. This year's event was particularly special as it marked the centenary of the Royal British Legion. The festival reflected on the different ways the charity has supported the armed forces community. It also commemorated 100 years of the poppy as the symbol of remembrance.